Good afternoon, guys. My name is Carmen Gill, and I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit more about the journey that I've had in my education and where my education has taken me. At the end of the presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about the daunting scholarship application and the tips that I have for you guys. I also want to talk about the Buick Achievers, which is the scholarship that changed my life, and thanks to them, I'm doing the things that I love the most at the moment. So to start off with, to start off with, some of you may be wondering, who am I? Um, so you already know that my name is Carmen. I'm Hispanic. I was born in Cuba, and my family came to the States when I was about five. Um, growing up in the Hispanic household, education has always been very important in my family, and we actually immigrated to the States um, because my mom wanted me to get the best education and get the best opportunities, the ones that she didn't have when she was growing up. So uh, to talk a little bit about me, uh, um, I've done research abroad in Sydney, Australia, and I've also presented my research in several conferences. Um, but most of all, um, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky to say that I'm a Buick Achievers, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the Buick Achievers up next um, in a couple of slides. Um, but right now, I think a lot of you are in what I call the major dilemma. So the major dilemma is when you need to choose a major, you're in high school, you're a senior, some of you have senioritis, some of you don't know what to choose. So to talk a little bit about my story, um, when I was growing up, I liked a lot of, you know, I liked math, I liked science, but I also liked law. And I actually went to a law academy high school. And when senior year came around and I had to decide, so what am I going to do? Um, I talked to my law teacher and I actually sat down with him and I told him like, I'm not sure what to do, you know, and he said, what do you like doing? What do you enjoy? And I said, well, I like math, I like science, a little bit of chemistry. And he told me, you know, I think that engineering is the way to go. And thanks to him, I chose chemical engineering and I'm really thankful that I chose a STEM field to go into because the opportunities have been great um, and there's many, many opportunities for students going into the STEM field currently. Um, up next, what I call the opportunities for success. And um, I wanted to talk to you about my opportunities and what I've accomplished. So I traveled to Sydney, Australia in 2012 um, as part of the international research experience for students. And I got to work with the leaders in the field in energy technologies. And I, you know, I had top of the line equipment, state of the art. And these experiences, this research experience and these international research experience are not hard to come by. There's, you know, lots of opportunities for students to to get into research and to do research abroad. Um, so you know, as I came back from my research, I've been able to, you know, go to national conferences. I've presented my research in several conferences. Just last year, I went to the HENAC, um, Great Minds in STEM conference, which is one of my favorite conferences um, because you get to see all the minority um, professionals who've just gone, you know, we even got to, um, to see um, Ms. Oshoa who went to, um, on the space, uh, went to space, and we got to see, like, great, great, you know, inspirational stories, but that's, that's about that conference. Um, what I think is one of the best opportunities for students, and especially STEM students, is the opportunities for funding and for you to fund your own education. Um, and to me, the best opportunity, it's not because I'm a Buick Achiever, but to me, the best opportunity out there is Buick Achievers Scholarship because it just offers so much and it's truly changed my life, both financially and personally. 
Um, so to talk a little bit more about my story with the Buick Achievers, um, let's go to the next slide. It's what I call what made it all happen. So needless to say, um, the Buick Achievers was an opportunity of a lifetime for me. I was at the time working full time. I was going to school full time. I was working on tons of little scholarships to try to, you know, not take out so many loans. And I was actually in Sydney doing my research when I got the call from the Buick Achievers. And it was a call that changed everything. You know, it changed the game for me. It, you know, I got to, you know, breathe easy and say this, this is truly incredible. You know, I get to, now I can focus on my research. Now I can focus on my studies. And now I can do what I really like to do. And I don't have to worry about the financial, you know, side of the situation. And as when I became a Buick Achiever was when I became independent. Like, I no longer needed to, you know, to rely on loans. To I didn't need to work. I didn't need to rely on my parents. So it truly is, you know, a life changer for me, and I think a life changer for all the students who have received the Buick Achievers. Um, just recently, actually, I'm very happy to say that they, the Buick Achievers, even um, approved my five-year engineering program, which means that um, as an engineer, we have a little bit more credits to fulfill, and the Buick Achievers is going to fund me an extra year for me to finish my education which truly takes the worry off of me and just, you know, lets me focus on what I want to focus and continue my research um, to hopefully go on to my PhD. And it's all thanks to, to this great, great scholarship. Um, up next um, are some of the unique experiences that I've had being a Buick Achiever. Please keep in mind that these are not all the Buick Achievers get these opportunities. Um, but there are some of the opportunities that I had. Um, so we actually, five of us from all over the country, got selected to go represent the Buick Achiever Scholarship in at the Education Nation Summit. And the summit was truly amazing. Like when you're with all you know types of students from all types of backgrounds, and you're just talking about you know the education as a whole and like. What, what needs to be changed in our education. And a lot of the worries of students was like funding and you know, how does the finances work and like, how are we gonna fund education when tuition goes higher and higher and you know, there's, um, there's no, you know, wages are normal. So, um, so when I got to go to the Education Nation Summit, we were, all of us were actually in the Melissa Harris Perry show live and we got to interact and share our ideas. Later on, we got invited to the Worn Back Down red carpet premiere, which was a movie featuring Viola Davis and Maggie Gyllenhaal. We actually got to meet the president of the General Motors Foundation, Miss Vivian Pickard, such a great lady that I got to meet. And my eyes watered when I was talking to her because it was such an emotional time for me. You know, what the Buick Achievers has done for me, how they've changed my life completely, you know, and I really had to say thank you to her and to, the, to all the General Motors representatives that were there. Um, so after the movie premiere, we actually got to go to the reception at the New York Library. And the reception was truly great. Um, you had all these famous actresses and actors, and it was truly, truly amazing. And Ms. Vivian Pickard, she made sure that we got pictures with Maggie Gyllenhaal and Viola Davis. And, you know, she hunt them down for us. So that's why you see the pictures on the bottom with them. So that's a little bit about these opportunities that I had. Um, so at the end of the day, when us five were there, and we're all from different um, cities in the country, and you know, we became a little family. Um, so, and I think that's what the Buick Achievers, you know, wants to achieve. Um, so up next. I, some of you may be wondering, where am I today? So actually, 
today for me is actually Valentine's Day because I'm back in Sydney, back in Australia, back doing the research, and this time it's because of the Buick Achievers and because, you know, they've helped me get here and they funded me to be here. So I'm actually back to doing the research that I love. I'm, you know, continuing my energy technologies research. Actually, like two days ago, we submitted a paper to a scholarly journal, so I'm very happy about that. And we're also starting some research on skin cancer. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, it's all thanks to the Buick Achievers who's, you know, helped me do what I love to do the most and I can just pursue my passions and not have to worry about the finances, not have to worry about, you know, any of, any of that. So um, what some of you may be wondering, up next we have Scholarship 101. Um, I said the story from someone who has done more than a dozen applications. To me, it felt more than a thousand applications. Um, <laughs> but um, I tell you this because um, trying to finance your studies is very difficult. And, you know, what changed it all for me was just this one scholarship. Like, before it was, I was applying for several scholarships, trying to get funding here and there. And after I've gone into Buick Achievers, it's just, you know, I don't need to apply for anything else. You know, I'm set and um, I can actually focus, keep focusing on my studies and my research. Um, so as all of you get to the senior finish line, and some of you are getting senioritis and some of you, you know, think the scholarship applications are daunting and really difficult. Um, I have to tell you, I've been in your shoes. I've been there and actually when I was in high school, I, I actually thought the scholarships were um, just something that was very daunting on me. I, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know how to do it. So here's some tips that, you know, I want to give you. Um, and the first tip is just to start the application. When you know what you have to do, when you know what you have to find, the things you have to put in order, it's, it's the longest, just starting is the longest um, process. So, you know, just start. I know it's, it's, it may seem like a mountain you can't climb, but actually, you know, it's better to do it in high school and, you know, go to the university when you're, you know, financially stable with, because you have, like, a scholarship like the Buick Achievers that's, you know, you don't have to worry about anything else. So my next tip is to be concise and effective. This was very important when I was applying to the Buick Achievers because there was limited amount of space for my writing. And I started, I, I remember, I think I started one essay with like 500 words and I had to cut it down to like 100. And it became a journey of being concise, but still, you know, saying everything you want to say. So that's where I take you to the next step, which is use acronyms if they're common, um, because you do have limited space. And I know some of you may think this is not necessary. I thought it wasn't necessary. But when it comes down to cutting words because you want to portray the whole picture, it's very, very important because you want to say everything, not say half of the story. Um, the next tip that I have is to ask your recommend, recommenders with one month in advance for recommendation letters. And thankfully for everybody, you know, the Buick Achievers, you don't need a recommendation letter. It's a very, it's not a comprehensive um, scholarship application. It's actually very easy. One of the easiest that I've, you know, come across. Um, so, but for, for other applications, you do need to ask those recommend, recommenders with, you know, a lot of time in advance so they can write you the letter. But again, you don't need it for the Buick Achievers. Um, my next tip is to proofread. This is one of the most important um, tips, which is to proofread, proofread, proofread. Um, and I know some of you don't like the idea of proofread, and you might not think it's important, but it's very important. You don't want your, um, your essays to have any grammar mistakes, 
you don't want to portray yourself in that light. You, you want everything to be perfect because you have to compete with everybody else. And you don't want to go down because your grammar is, you know, not right. Or sometimes you make mistakes saying certain things. So proofread. I recommend, you know, if your parents are, um, if your parents can proofread your writing, if you have a friend that maybe is in college and has some experience with scholarship applications, you know, just have them look at your application, have them look at your essays and see what they think and see if you, you know, you can say something different and make it shine. And that takes me to the next step, which is make it original. Make it original is very important because it's what sets you apart from hundreds and hundreds of other people. Um, so with that being said, um, up next we have a Q&A session and I just want to say good luck to you. I hope that a lot of you apply for the Buick Achievers because it really, it really is going to be a game changer and it really is going to change the way you go about your education, the way you go about your studies. So good luck to everybody. Up next, the Q&A session. So. Our first question from Chris is, how do I apply to the Buick Achievers? And the Buick Achievers is an online application. You just um, apply, you register and then you fill everything online and submit it. So you don't have to, to actually um, mail in anything. You don't even have to mail in your transcripts until like maybe, until the second process which is if you're, you're selected. Um, so, and the deadline for that is February 28th, 2014. Um, Mary wants to know, what does a scholarship pay for? So the Buick Achievers Scholarship pays for the cost of tuition, fees, books, supplies, and even room and board. Um, so it truly is a comprehensive, um, scholarship that helps you with everything in your in your university. Um, up next, we have another question from Alex, which is, can the scholarship be used at any college? So the scholarship can be used at any four-year accredited college or university within the United States or Puerto Rico. And our next question is are the scholarships renewable? So the Buick Achievers National Scholarship is renewable until four years and maybe five years if you're in engineering program. And the only thing you need to renew your to your New York scholarship is to keep a 3.0 GPA and be full time and continue in being one of the eligible majors. Um, which, the Buick, which the Buick Achievers um, um, has as the ones that they, um, that, as your criteria. So you can look that up at www.buickachievers.com and you can find all the, all the info and you can also find the majors which are approved. And our next question from Jose is, how are the recipients selected? So there's various criteria, but some of the ones that um, I know are, you know, academic achievement and financial need are very important, as well as your community service and the your um, group activities and also work work experience and if you're a minority student and are female or um, a first generation student. So those are not requirements, but it also helps if you're one of those. Um, so thanks everybody for listening in. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a nice day. Thank you.